Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, as you can see here, we have a couple of more Joker knives. And Toby sent them. So thank you, Toby and family. I did not look up the model numbers. I haven't looked up any of this. So <clears throat> I have no idea what these uh, knives are in here. But let's go ahead and open them up find out together what they are here are two prior joker knives uh examples so they know how to make some good knives this one is the pointer a little pointy point and a nice hollow ground saber cut here pack of wood they call it stamina wood but it's like pack of wood and then this is the olive handled one this is not unlocking but Nice file work on it, and plenty of room. If it's a non-locking knife, I'd like to have a kick, you know, so that I can hold it. If it's non-locking and it doesn't have a click, a kick, and it's just relying on tension, it just this has got pretty strong tension on it. But anyway, that's those two. So we shall open them up with a huge Joker. <laughs> I got this sucker super sharp. I carry it around with me. Because it's it's compact and fits to the side of my body, I can wear it sitting down and no problems. Alright, we're going to open this guy. Yeah. It's just like cellophane, you know, shrink wrap around them. We'll get that out of the way. But yeah, this knife is really super. <laughs> Stop it. Stop cutting things. You can't help it. When it comes out, it wants to cut. All right, get back in your holster there and stay still. All right, what we have is a NC-125. Wow. Wow. Man. That is nice. <laughs> it's a lockback. Wow, look at that handle. Little red liner there. Jigging on the back. Ooh, this is a nice one. What do they call it? It's a koala, too. Well, this guy's a koala. Isn't he? Yeah, he's a koala. He's got a hollow grind. Saber grind here. This guy's got a flat grind. Much thicker in the handle. But it feels really good. Really good in the handle. Wow, man. This is nice. That looks like it's sticking up a little bit, but it's not. You run your hand right through there and you don't get snagged whatsoever. Wow, that is beautiful. Stag on that. <clears throat> it's got like a black... I'll have to get the stats for you and everything afterwards. I wanted to surprise myself. I didn't want to, you know, look at it and see what it was or anything. Wow, that is sweet. It has that um, German steel. Let's get its weight in there. It's going to weigh more than the other uh, koala. All right, let's... Zoom you back because you're just a little too zoomed in there. All right, what are we in? Ounces. All right, let's put some ounces in there. 3.43 ounces. Let's check this guy. 2.1. So a lot of this is the handle. Let's do that. 
<clears throat> Let's put him into grimages. That's grains. Grimages. 97.5 as opposed to 61. Wow. <clears throat> this is nice. This is really nice. So you got all different kinds of koalas. I think this is blade is also thicker. Now well, they're pretty close to the same. It's just a different type of a hollow grind. We'll line them up. Jimping to jimping. It's a little bit smaller blade. Not by much. Very cool. Very nice. Alright, let's look at the other one. This is a N104D. Ooh, nice. Me, I was looking at one of these and thinking about getting it just because of the way they look. This is a traditional Naha type of style. And this one's called what? It's just, they have them in different colors, but man, this is great. You got that little horn that comes down there. Helps it retain in your hand. Let's look at the scales here. Covers. Wow. I'll look at the material and see what that is, but that looks nice. All this little figurines and stuff. Stainless of steel. Focus you. It's got that nice clip point upswept shape to it. Big old saber grain. These guys are always sharp. Could use a little stropping. I mean, it's sharp. But just the way it tears the paper. Let's try this guy. I'm zoomed in too much. You are zoomed in too much, sir. Let's try this one. Oh, yeah, this one's a lot sharper. This one here is a lot sharper than this one. But, you know, strop it. Take care of that. Very nice grind on it. It's got a half stop. Tonk! I know on a lot of these you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Older knives. You can get blade right. On some of these styles. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is one you would probably want to ease down. But it's got a nice little channel for it. Oh, something in my throat. Oh, these are cool, man. Couple more great Joker knives there. So let's let's put the family all together. Oh, we didn't weigh this guy, did we? Or get the measurements? Well, you know, I can get the measurements off of uh, the internet. At least the weight. We'll get the weight. Make sure that's accurate. You, open up. Come out with your hands up. You're surrounded. This is the police. Come on out with your hands up. Thought I'd scare my thing into getting in there faster. 51 grams or 1.80 ounces. Yeah, these are nice. <laughs> like I said, I was just looking at this one going, wow, these are cool. And this one. Man, this is beyond cool. This is awesome. Extra awesome. Like I said, if, if they could make natural materials, I mean, um, synthetic materials look this well, I'd be happy with it. But man, it's just hard to beat. 
And the thing about stag too is no two knives are going to be the same. You know, they're all going to be different, individual. I like that it's thicker in the hand too. It gives you, you know, a sturdier area to grab upon. And it's nice and slicey. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, this is nice. This is very nice. What kind of a inches are we got on this blade here? About a three inch blade. Maybe three and a quarter overall if you're going on overall length. Let's see what this guy is. He seems to be longer blade, but he's got that upswept curve to him. They're about the same. About a three, three and a quarter inch overall. Very nice clip on there. Oh man, that's a strong spring. You have to really, really push down on that. I wouldn't worry about this one folding. <laughs> Let's see, even if it does, you've got a half stop. But if your hand's right up there, it's going to push you out of the way. It's going to let you know, hey, you're about to be cut there, buddy. Does look like it's got a little kick to keep it from banging on there. But yeah, this is a cool little, cool little knife. I like the way th that's where that clip comes in handy instead of making this thing too fat going back there. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Has he got a name? No, he just says stainless. Sometimes they name them, but this is a classic Naha. And this is a nice spear point, nice and sharp, jimping, nice sharpening tool. Like I said, they did a very good job on the edge grind on these. This is pretty, these are pretty decent, man. You can usually find them on Amazon, if not their website. So there you go. There's a couple of little special knives. And um, thank you for watching and have a nice day.